Hello friends in this video I will show you how to use my SQL insert query for checking data already inserted or not. I have used insert query with sub query with where condition and not exits. I have make simple insert query with select sub query with where not exists to check data already inserted or not in insert query. Friends this is my simple table with name brand named with two column with name brand did and brand name. Friends this is my simple page. On this page first I have defined one HTML form with method post. Under this HTML form I have defined one input type text with name brand. And last I have defined one input type submit button with name add and value is also add. Now friends I have moved to PHP code. In this code first I have make database connection for this I have defined one variable connect is equal to miscly connect function with four parameter localost is equal to localost. Username is equal to root. Password is equal to password and database is equal to triple Z. After this I have defined one variable message is blank. In this variable I will store message regarding whichever action is done like for insert data I will store data inserted. Now friends I want to check user is click on add button or not for this I have use of statement with condition. In condition I have used set function with parameter dollar post button name add. After this I want to check brand name text box has some value or not. For I have again use of statement with condition. In condition I have write not operator with empty function with parameter dollar post text box name brand. If suppose text box brand is blank then page must be redirect. For this I have use header function. In this function I have write location for page name like data already inserted dot php question mark required is equal to 1. With help of required in URL will display message like this field is required. For display message like this field is required for this I have use of statement with condition. In condition I have use set function with parameter dollar get required then dollar message is equal to brand name is required. This message will display on web page. For display message on web page for this I have write of statement with condition. In condition I have write dollar message not equal to blank then I have write echo statement with dollar message. So, this way we can display message on web page. Now suppose friends if text box brand has some value then I have to write SQL query for insert data into brand table with check before brand name is inserted or not. For this I have defined one SQL variable is equal to insert into brand with column name brand name. Friends for getting brand name for this I have write select with dynamic text box value like dollar post brand from brand table. With help of this query we can get value from form. Now friends I want to write query for check brand name is already inserted or not for I have used where not exists with select brand name from brand where brand name is equal to dynamic value of form text box with name dollar post brand and limit 1. This query will check brand name is inserted into brand table or not.
Now friends our query is ready for data insert before checking data already inserted or not. Now friends I want to execute this query for this I have write miscly query function with two parameter like database connection string is equal to connect and second parameter is query which I have store in the SQL variable. After this friends I have defined one new variable with name like inserted is equal to miscly inserted with one parameter like database connection string is equal to connect. With the help of this function we can get rid of last inserted records. Now friends I have want to check brand name inserted or not. If brand name is not inserted that means brand name is already inserted into brand table. For this I want to check inserted has some value or not. If inserted variable has some value that means brand name inserted and if it is blank that means brand name already inserted. For this I have write of statement with condition variable inserted it is not equal to blank that means inserted has some value and brand name inserted into brand table page. Now friends page must be redirect to URL in which I have write inserted. For page redirect I have write header function with page URL location data already inserted dot PHP question mark inserted is equal to 1. And friends suppose inserted has not value that means brand name already inserted so page must be redirect to URL in which I have write already. For page redirect I have used header function with page URL location like data already inserted dot PHP question mark already is equal to 1. Now friends I have want to create message for brand name inserted and brand name already inserted. For brand name inserted message I have write of statement with condition. In condition I have used set function with parameter dollar get inserted then message variable is equal to brand inserted. Friends for display data already inserted message I have write if statement with conditions with parameter like dollar get already then message variable is equal to brand already inserted. Now friends I have moved to check this code is working or not on browser. Friends first I have enter brand name is equal to in focus and press enter button. Brand insert message has been appear on the page screen. Now friends I again enter brand name is equal to in focus and press enter button. Brand name already inserted message has been appear on the page screen. This is because I have already insert in focus brand name. Friends thank you for watching this video on how to check data already inserted or not before insert by using my SQL query. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.